Red Alert 2 is an extremely nostalgic game, and if you want it running as nice as this at your current resolution on the Windows, then you want to follow this quick guide. Okay, so this is assuming you've just bought the collection and you're on EA Games, it used to be Origin. Now, the first thing we're going to do is, of course, just start up the game. I just did that, and it should give us a fresh install file. Go and find it. It normally is found in the uh, the programs files under EA Games and then Red Alert 2. And you'll get a file similar looking to this. First thing you want to do is just scroll all the way down to RA2. It should be a configuration file or a .ini. Now, scroll all the way down till you see video or you can just control F and find it. Now, this won't be in yours. It's video back buffer equals no. I'll have it down in the description. Copy and paste it straight in. Screen width and height will be there and you will just simply put in whatever your screen resolution is. If it is... Uh, 2K, then just uh, 1440p, and then you know 1080 for uh, most normal monitors. Save that and uh, close it down. Now, what will that do? That'll mean that your resolution will start at uh, well, what's on your screen. That's a good start, but performance will be awful. So, how do we fix that? Firstly, you'll want to go over and get yourself WinRAR. It's in the comments below. It will make your life a whole lot easier. Description, not comments. Quickly head on over to ddwrapper.zip. We'll need that to uh, fix a bit of performance issues. When you download it, it normally will block it, and most antivirus will say it's a bad thing. I've used it for years, and everything seems fine. So uh, trust me on this one. And then, uh, yeah, open it up, and you'll have a few files here. It may look a little confusing, but not to fear. It'll be easy enough. We'll actually just uh, minimize it a wee bit. Now that we are in here, I just want you to drag over these two files here into the folder. Boom. Replace two files. It mightn't say replace for you. Uh, and uh, we'll go into that file that we just put in, the acrit.cfg. And all I want you to do is change the force direct draw emulation to one. Save. Don't do anything else. That should basically fix your performance. Now, what's the next problem with Red Alert 2? If you try and alt-tab, it crashes the game or it just goes into a horrible black screen. And most people, you know, we like alt-tabbing out of games. So how do we fix that? Pretty simply, plus it also fixes some performance issues. You'll want to download the cnc dd drawer zip then you can alt enter and it can even swap into windowed mode if that's something you want pretty neat now that we've got this open all you'll want to do is ooh, get the two files drag all three in this will probably over yeah will override the dd drawer we had earlier but not the fear that's no problem at all to us now that we've done all that Go back in, fire up your Red Alert 2, and honestly, it should run like a dream. At the resolution you want, performance will be perfect, and uh, yeah, get you a good base if you decide to start modding and adding things like Mental Omega and a few other things. Uh, we'll fire up Red Alert 2. Now, there is one step that you do need before this is all finalized. You may discover that uh, it's not running as great as you want, and then I can just, I can alt-tab out of it. And I can alt-tab back in. Handy. Now, going back out, say yours doesn't boot up or there is a bit of an issue. Uh, sometimes this can occur. I had it to fight with it a wee bit earlier. Uh, you will have to right-click on your file. Now, it may be read-only uh, when you're about to edit some of these. So go over to security and make sure whoever you are, whether you're the system administrator or a user, that uh, you go into advanced... Oh that you go into edit permissions and you allow yourself to do everything to these files because when you click in you may have to go over to the launcher uh, check all of the application ones here so the RA2, RA2 and the two game ones here go over to compatibility sometimes this may be ticked and you don't want that so uh, you'll change settings for all users if uh, this is darkened out and uh, just, it may, as I said, it may just be like as simple as this. It may be on Windows 7, XP or Vista. Uh, but you don't want it to run with any compatibilities at all. Um, go through all uh, those two and those two as well. It would 
suit to just go through all of them um because i find that may be an issue it actually states it over here um let me see make sure you oh no no it, it said that in a different file yeah it normally gives a wee bit of a heads up that you don't want to run any of these in compatibility mode now that's pretty much it yeah, done and dusted easy peasy if you have any questions let me know um beyond that this is uh this is being done on a windows 10 computer um again it's using ea games if you're downloading it, it may work outside of ea games i am not too sure um but this is basically for the cnc collection so hopefully it works for you let me know in the comments any issues i'll try my very best i have been scarring the <laughs> the forums uh, the past while here to try and figure all this out so uh, hopefully i can provide a bit of value to you enjoy red alert 2 i have a few playthroughs on this channel if you want to check them out in challenges um as well as uh, going to be doing some modded campaigns so might see you there thank you for watching